Huawei VXP 12.2Q self-powered speaker. Now tell us, this is a this is a filthy great big box. <laughs> <laughs> What's it, inside? It's a serious unit. Um, so it's got a, a dual 12 inch uh, configuration. So um, up the top is uh, a 12 inch dual concentric driver and uh, also supplemented by a 12 inch woofer. Um, those not familiar with Tannoy, um, dual concentric driver is basically one of the patents that they've sort of developed uh, a number of years ago. Um, it's sort of been one of the, the mainstays of their technology in terms of um, creating a, a very even um, sound field. Um, the HF and the, and the woofer tend to be phase aligned. Phase aligned. So that, that's kind of their, their main spiel and it, it now, works really well. Now, customarily what we've seen from Tano with the dual concentrics is traditionally they've been conical, uh, 90 degree conical dispersion patterns. This is a bit different, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. So um, the conical pattern has sort of been uh, the mainstay of, it's a, f a function of um, the HF mm. using the woofer as a, as a waveguide more yep. or less. Um, in this instance, they've um, developed a new waveguide just to give, you know, Tighter new, pattern control. Yeah, tighter pattern control. So it's got like a 70 degree by uh, 40 degree in the vertical um, waveguide on, on the top of the, um, the dual concentric. Okay, now if, you, if you're going to do what I've done and spin the thing around this way, this is actually sitting on the wrong feet, but you can also spin the driver. So if you want to use this as a really scary wedge, <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's just a matter of um, taking the grill off, um, spinning the driver, and um, yeah, you've got you've got a pretty kick-ass. You've got horizon the yeah. horizontal orientation. You can even spin the badge. Yes, indeed. Um, and now, obviously, as well, various M10 bolt points and uh, a, a section where you can remove and put a top hat adapter in. So you've got a variety of mounting options there. Yeah, I mean, and one of the main things that Tanoi wanted to have is, uh, is is a variety of application use. I mean, today, you know, it's such a the market so you know, should we say flooded with black boxes that you, you've got to have a point of difference. Um, they've, you know, flooded it with um, heaps of uh, rigging points, so M10 points for flying, for, for using with yoke brackets and... And if you're um, in a low ceiling you, application, you could in fact fly it yeah. in this orientation too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that, that would be quite a nice use of it actually. Okay, now, talking install, Power management something that's been considered here as well, obviously, because it's sometimes hard to get to the back of a, an installed flown speaker. Mm -hmm. How does the power management on the VXP 12.2Q work? I'm glad you asked. Um, the amp module on this puppy is uh, designed by uh, Lab Groupin. So as a co-badging uh, exercise with Tannoy and Lab Groupin, they've decided to put uh, a Lab badged module in the back of it. Um, it's got a switch that you can select auto power mode. So basically after 20 minutes without signal, it, uh, it shuts itself into a low, low power mode. Um, and then after you, if you, once you apply signal back in, it basically switches back it in. It wakes up. Mm. Okay. So really nice for install, obviously, as you say, um, you can't always sort of put them on a dedicated circuit where, you know, the venue owner is going to turn it off. Um, so it's just nice to have that ability to conserve the components within the module. Mm. Now lab group and power amplifier, what's the output on that and what's the configuration of the individual components individually amplified? Well it's actually uh, a single amplifier module yep. and it drives, uh, it's basically the passive crossovers within the box. Okay. So it's actually a single amp um, and then you've got a crossover from the woofer to the DC driver and then the, the dual concentric's also got a, a, its own passive cross between the woofer and HF. Okay, cool. Yeah. So nice and simple in terms of serviceability too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's you know, pretty robust. I mean, Lab Group have obviously made touring amps for a long time, so they, they know a thing or two about designing a robust amplifier. So yeah, nice. I, look, I would go so far as to say, in general, the whole box feels very robust, and, and uh, <laughs> it's got these good carry handles as well on the back. Um, and at 38 kilos, it's realistically, it's probably a two-person lift. Mm. Um, and so I, I don't know that I'd... You know, the, 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 the Scottish brick dunny comes to mind when you sort of, you know, you, you, you do the wrap the knuckles test on it and it's a solid unit. And like it, it, it's made out of wood, <laughs> there's, there's, not cardboard. There's, there's no resonance in the unit at all. Like, you know, normally with a, let's see, should we say, like a, a unit that's built to a price point, you know, you, you get the obvious sort of 
you know, boing and resonance out of the mm. cabinet, but this is really well done. It does feel nice and solid. Mm. And definitely so just less distortion overall, basically. Okay, now talking price point, rough rough pricing retail? Uh, rough price around 4899 that's that's pretty exact for a rough price. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's a Tannoy VXP 12.2Q. There's a whole bunch of others in the range as well. More information at Audio Products Group.